it's over a mile long, London's Oxford Street is a magnet for shoppers and shoplifters alike. On its pavements, undercover detectives scan the crowds for suspicious behaviour and familiar faces. Close to Oxford Circus, Steve and Adam are scanning the crowds for potential thieves. Me and one of my other colleagues were just patrolling Oxford Street when we spotted this guy who looked quite suspicious to us. Um, we both thought that it was up to no good, so we started monitoring him for a bit. Almost immediately, he's gone into a store and he's bought two empty sort of carrier bags, bag for life. To the well-trained eye, buying a bag for life without goods to put into it can be behaviour that suggests intention to steal. Steve and Adam suspect they're dealing with a professional and follow him to a nearby fashion chain store. When he's gone to the lower ground floor level, he's just started selecting items. It didn't look like he was even paying attention to what he was selecting, it was just sort of random items which made me think that he was obviously out to steal them and he's gone into a fitting room and then when he's come out all the items are concealed in a bag. The man leaves the store and darts into Oxford Circus station where the team catch up with him. Okay. Wait, you know why you've been arrested, yeah? Shoplifting. You just watch you in there, you take an item without paying. You went into the fitting room, you come out, you haven't paid for it, all right? You are under caution, okay? Are you known to the police? Yes. Yeah. What for? Two yeah. yeah? What have you got in here? Before I check, have you got any shots? Yeah. Have you got anything sharp in there? Yeah. Anything that's there, mate, you know? The team's hunch was a good one. The man is known to the police and has admitted to having a track record of shoplifting. When questioned, the man mentions something that sets the alarm bells ringing. Could it be the man is part of an organised gang? We go down here. Who did? Me, me and the girl in Tiny. What's his real name? I don't know, but... So who is he to you? Just, just a driver. Have a seat, mate. Yeah, I'll see. They ask you to get things. Alright, where are they now? Okay. Well, this new information raises some serious questions. Is someone using the man to steal for them? Many organised crime gangs are now using vulnerable people to do their dirty work. Could this be the situation here? They notice an issue with the stock which could indicate a more serious offence. Right, I'm going to ask you one very straightforward question. Where are the security tags that were on these products? <laughs> While searching his pockets, they come across something else that might point to his involvement with an organised gang. What have you got pliers for? Why are you carrying them in central London today? Pliers are a favourite tool of shoplifters for removing security tags. And this could now mean a charge of the much more serious offence of going equipped to steal. But who supplied the man with pliers? Shoplifting is no longer just a crime of lone wolves and opportunistic thieves. It's organised and exploitative, feeding on the vulnerable. The modus operandi that they develop is that they're not the ones doing the criminal activity. They're controlling vulnerable individuals and forcing them to do it on their behalf.